Michigan head basketball coach John Beeline leaving the University of Michigan for the NBA and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, can't argue with his success in Ann Arbor. Took over a mediocre program and made it a national power. 12 years, nine NCAA tournament appearances, two Final Fours, two Big Ten tourney titles, two Big Ten regular season titles. Pretty good mark for John Beeline. And with that, we bring in Anthony Wayne High School alum and former Michigan Wolverine, Mark Donnell. Mark, thanks for being here. I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, Mark, so you're the guy. I mean, we, we not a lot of guys uh, know John Beeline. Like, you went through the whole process. Just your initial reaction when you heard the news that he was doing this. See, I think I was just as shocked as the, the rest of the Michigan fan base. You know, obviously, he um, applied for the Pistons head coaching yep. job last year, but Kind of thought that was for his Michigan contract that he was uh, he signed last year, mm -hmm. but yeah, I was surprised. I think it's a good hire by the Cavs. He's going to be missed by uh, the whole Michigan basketball family, but um, you know it's pretty cool to see him go on and. You know, he's coached at every level now, so it's, it's cool to see and cool to be part of his legacy. Uh, he's been over a decade at Michigan, and the success that he's had, and, and his age, I mean, you know, into the 60s, you kind of thought he was going to hang out in Ann Arbor for the rest of his career. Is this maybe just a reflection of a desire that maybe he's had for a long time and now he's able to act on it? Yeah, I mean, maybe he saw in the back of his mind that he, he wanted to, to coach at the next level, you know. He started off in high school and kind of worked his way up D2, D3 to D1. And I think he kind of wants to make that, that next leap into the NBA and see how he transitions before um, the inevitable uh, retirement. As far as uh, uh, Beeline, you know, your relationship goes back with him and you were recruited by him. Maybe just kind of take us back and give us an idea of what that process is. That way, you know, you give us a little bit better picture of the guy uh, uh, before you got to Michigan. Yeah, before I got to Michigan, he was, you know, one of the, the very first guys to, to come into our open gym at Anthony Wayne and recruit me. Um, him and, and Coach Meyer, who's at Butler now, were both great guys that, you know, that came in and, and welcomed me in Ann Arbor and, you know, made me feel comfortable at home. And, you know, I'm sure he'll, he's done that at Michigan, built the culture, and I'm sure he'll do just fine in, in Cleveland. When you're a kid picking schools, I mean, is it, it's a combination of a bunch of, imagine a lot of things, but how much does the head coach, how much are you picking the head coach when you decide to go to a college? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just the feel for when you get to college, and you know, the head coach has, has a lot to do with that. Um, coach Beeline is obviously a great teacher and has, <clears throat> has you know, been to many Final Fours, has a lot of success at, at every level, and um, yeah, yeah, it's just, just cool to see him uh, you know, succeed and do well. Speaking of those recruiting days, so so now, so he's going to Cleveland, and and, and you obviously, as, as we mentioned, you know, he came into your home and made you feel comfortable, similar with Zeb Jackson. Now, you, you're not in Zeb Jackson's brain, but Zeb is verbally committed to Michigan. John Beeline has a lot to do with that. If you're a kid and you commit to a school and a program and the coach leaves, kind of kind of put us in that perspective of a kid moving up. What would have been your thought if, if that had happened when you were getting ready to go to school? Yeah, obviously it's a it's a tough position, but you know a lot of high school recruits kind of go through that same process. Um, what I would do is try to maybe reach out to someone that that did go through that process, and you know, or just wait until you see who the next head coach is and, and make a decision based off you know, if if you like his kind of system that he brings to the table. Um, you know, there's it's a lot of moving parts to to kind of make a decision, but you know at the end of the day you can't go wrong getting the University of Michigan education and. You know, at the end of the day, I think that's kind of what his goal is. And no one knows better than a former Michigan Wolverine, Mark Dinell, former Anthony Wayne General, and a part of the BCSN family. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. Absolutely. Thank you.